Hello, my awesome Scorpio. I missed you guys. So thank you for your awesome energy, Scorpio. I miss you when I'm not here with you guys. So I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. Keeping safe, happy and safe and healthy. So Scorpio, oh yeah, your, your birthdays are coming up. Your birthdays are coming up around the corner, Scorpio. So I hope you're going to have a great one. Um, so you want a soulmate reading. That's what we're going to do. Whether you're currently in contact with your soulmate or not. First part of this video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Scorpio. What do you be dealing with facing? How to best handle it for your highest good, especially for the rest of October and towards the end of the year. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. We're going to ask what's going on with your soulmate. How they are relating to you at this time emotionally and what's on the mind. What they thinking and feeling, especially in relation to you, Scorpio. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Scorpio. For Scorpio's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Scorpio? What will Scorpio be dealing with facing and how to best handle it? For the highest good what is coming towards scorpio Ooh, extra message important message is sticking out as extra so let's see what's coming towards scorpio Ooh, page of swords yeah so this is you wanting to express uh very openly you you haven't released your soulmate yet fully you're disappointed in them, though. You're disappointed. Yet yeah, you're showing up here as very guarded emotionally, wanting to tell them off uh, or tell them something bluntly. You are disappointed in this individual. You haven't fully released them. You feel that telling them off or telling them exactly what you think or feel is going to help you. Let's see. Wow, you still care for this person. Yeah, you still care emotionally for this individual. But you are not sure what's going to happen. Uh, you, you, you feel unsure what to do. Because you're not releasing them. The reason why you have a hard time releasing this person, even though they disappointed you greatly, um, it shows here that you have a lot of past life connections with this person. So... You both have this connection with each other, so it's not one-sided. They feel it also. Let's see the extra message for you. Yeah, you're extremely guarded emotionally towards this person. You're very guarded. You're showing with two swords, not one sword, but two swords and pointing south. So you feel like you've done all you could do in this connection with this relationship, whatever it is you call it at this time. Uh... You're very guarded emotionally towards this person. You don't trust this individual. They disappointed you greatly. Yeah, they did. A lot of you are dealing with Libra, Virgo, uh, wow, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see, Aquarius. Well, all signs are popping up. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages. What's coming towards Scorpio? What will Scorpio be dealing with facing and how to best handle it for the highest good? Yeah, you see, silent treatment showing up here. No communication. You still love this person. That's why you're worried. How are you going to move on with your life? Of course you're going to move on with the, your life. Of course you will. Believe in yourself. Yeah, uh, you're going to move on with your life with or without them. Remember, your life existed before you met them and it will, will exist after you decide to say goodbye to them for good. You're very sad. Yeah, this shows this is a lot of regrets. Um, this is often called crying over spilled milk. This is you very sad, uh, thinking of what could have been. Um, we all go through this, Scorpio, so don't be hard on yourself. This is part of mourning. Uh, this is you feeling very sad, feeling emotionally abandoned, sad about this not working out. 
So remember, Scorpio, they didn't put work into this. You're not responsible for their beha behavior or communication. Yeah, you see, this person is spying on you heavily. This person is spying on you, but they're showing up as very immature. you showing up as the queen, whether you're male or female, and they're showing up as a page. So they're very immature. they also sad because this is the mutual energy between you right now. And they are restricting communication. They're not good at communicating their feelings, their emotions. They're not good at being good listeners either or communicators. Uh, you both are sad, but they show up as very stubborn, very stubborn, immature in behavior. You show up as grown up, as responsible, mature, grounded. Wow. Um, this is you, like one side of you wants to fight for them, fight for this connection, and the other side of you wants to release them. Wow, this person loves you quietly. This person is in love with you quietly. This person is not good at expressing emotions, feelings, whether showing them or expressing them verbally. The love they feel for you is real, is true, because they're showing up as king of cups. But their communication is horrible. They don't communicate effectively. Whenever there are problems in communication in a relationship, whether it's romantic or not, there's always misunderstanding between people. So this person is not mature in relationships. But the love they feel for you is mature, real love, but they're hiding it from you. Yeah, so you feel single. You feel single without a relationship at this time. You feel like there's no relationship between you and this person. This person is spying on you, though. Let me see more for you. More for you. My goodness, Scorpio, you've been going through so much. You really want to tell them off. You really want to put them in their place, which is what they've earned. Um, yeah, they took you for granted. Let's see, universe, what's coming towards Scorpio? What will Scorpio be dealing with facing? And how to best handle it for the highest good? A lot of you are dealing with the Libra. Aquarius and Gemini also showing up here. They would like to take action towards you. Yeah, you see, this person is reminiscing about you just like you're reminiscing about them. So we got this twice, six of cups from you towards them and vice versa. I'm looking for it right now. You see, this is what you got. The same energy, identical energy, but from two different tarot decks. So they also very emotional towards you, reminiscing about you. Um, hmm. Yeah, in love with you quietly. So they're not showing you. They love, yeah, very immature in action, very immature in communication. This person is very mature. Yeah. This is stressing you out. You feel like you need to move on with your life. Major changes coming to your life for the better. This is stressing you out, though. <laughs> yeah. This is stressing you out, Scorpio. I'm sorry you're going through so much. Let me see what's going on with this person to help you out. Universe, please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of Scorpio. For Scorpio's highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Scorpio. The soulmate of Scorpio. What is going on with the soulmate of Scorpio? Oh, they have a lot of respect for you. View you as an empress. And bottom of the deck, the lovers. So this person uh, views you as extremely important to them. They're just not acting like it. Uh, placed you on a pedestal, empress. This person feels you are uh, too good for them. Like they are beneath you. And honestly, they are because they keep showing up with the page. And you're showing up with high vibration energy of queen of cups and empress. They feel connection with you like they've never felt with anybody else. A lot of you are dealing with Taurus, also um, Gemini showed up just now. Universe, what is going on with the soulmate of Scorpio? And how is the soulmate of Scorpio currently relating to Scorpio, especially emotionally? And what's on their mind? 
and what they feel and you see so once again they view you as an empress and yeah this is minor arcana of the empress so they've placed you on a pedestal they feel like you realize they feel that you realize they're not good enough for you that you are releasing them letting them go that's their perception at least they they feel beneath you yeah this person feels beneath you a lot of you are dealing with virgo taurus capricorn also again taurus wow this person is trying to figure out how to get you back into their good graces uh, they know that for you to take them seriously they have to come in with solid offer not empty talk or cheap promises or mind games they don't know what to do though they feeling at a crossroads trying to figure out the best way to proceed how to proceed wisely uh, they're confused now, but they will see clearly what they need to do because the sun is present. Whenever the sun is present, it gives clarity. Let me see what's going on here. Universe, what's going on with the soulmate of Scorpio? And how is the soulmate of Scorpio currently relating to Scorpio? You see, on top of the Empress is the Empress. This person messed up really badly because they feel they're beneath you. Like they don't deserve, yeah, communication. This person wants to communicate with you. Back and forth communication showing up here. Remember, Scorpio, if you don't want to communicate with them, you don't have to. Um, so it looks like you're going to have the upper hand here. Wow. This person feels like, well, first of all, they've given you silent treatments, mind games, inconsistent communication. They pissed you off. They hurt you. This is weighing heavily on them. They can't release you, can't let you go. Wow. This person has hurt a lot of people and they're very bitter. This person is very bitter. Yeah, this person is very bitter. Um, they feel scorned. They feel... What I don't like about this combination here is that this person likes to play a victim like they are the victim uh they have this uh, victim mentality like oh my gosh yeah i hurt you but i did it because others hurt me which is a bullshit excuse this person is uh, this was just an example this person is uh having pity parties feeling sorry for themselves um hmm yeah they feel they owe you explanations apologies A lot of you are dealing with the Virgo. This person is analyzing things. Yeah, they want to come in with some kind of offer. Yeah. Um, this person feels that they are not meant for a relationship. They would rather take an easy road out and be alone and empty than put work into relationship this person uh this person likes to play a victim they don't take responsibility for their actions yeah whenever a person is not taking responsibility for their actions and remember every single person makes mistakes uh they will not learn uh let's see more more before we go into extended Universe, what's going on with this connection between Scorpio and their soulmate? Oh, this just fell out. Let me see the bottom. This person is not letting you go. Yeah, look at this. Look at the stress over here. All this stress you've been through, and that's why you're so guarded. Because uh, this person has really uh disappointed you greatly scorpio you're showing up here with very psychic energy you're very intuitive you're very intuitive follow your intuition scorpio follow your intuition you have great intuition scorpio yeah look at this this is you feeling like you need to be left alone very disappointed emotionally uh heartbroken uh having deep emotional regrets crying over spilled milk this is often called like thinking about what could have been um hmm. 
Scorpio, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's current, true, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time, especially for the rest of October and towards the end of the year. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, uh, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Scorpio, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there. Love you guys.